I didn't want to pitch anymore, and so my dad and I kind of sat down and was like, well, I think the next best thing to do would be catching. So then the moment I decided to do that, I just went all out. I, um, again, went and got individual lessons. I have a coach that really helped me through that. Practice, practice, practice. Like I said, even before I decided I wanted to be a catcher, I was throwing every day with my father. I was making sure I was throwing the correct way. You know, every time I go out, I warm up properly. I work on my wrist snaps. I make sure I have the 6-12 rotation, um, ball spinning backward, so it is as straight as it can be. And then we realized, you know, what's going to give me that niche? What's going to make me that much better? And um, my dad suggested throwing from my knees. And we went out to the ball field one day and tried it, and it, it stuck. It worked really well with me, and I feel that ever since then, I've been able to really just break it down and learn how to use my legs while still throwing from your knees and and still how much more important it is that I have the proper mechanics. Every week I'd get out um, to home and make sure that I would, or out to practice and make sure that I was catching my pitcher because you can't just show up to a game and expect to catch the pitcher. I was making sure to go to their warm-ups and to their practices too so I knew what they wanted to throw, how they liked to throw, you know, what they're working on so we could always be on the same page. I'm more of a happy-go-lucky type gal and pitchers are usually pretty serious so I feel like there's that yin and yang. I was able to go out there and, and calm them down a little bit more. Um, Specifically, someone like Kat Osterman, she's super serious, and so I couldn't do that all the time either. So I needed to learn, you know, her how how she individually wanted to be talked to, um, rather than let's say Megan Denny, another pitcher at the University of Texas, or this summer, or during my pro league, I'm going to be catching Danielle Laurie, and she's completely different too. You just have to get to know these these pitchers, what they like, how, how they like to be talked to. And then I think it's always the situation, you know, if it's, there's errors happening on the field, that's a different way than, you know, if the hitters are absolutely raking the pitcher, there's two different ways to go about that. And you just, I think, you know, it's your normal everyday conversation and then going out and figuring out how to still pep them up to get through that inning.